Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're talking about not a TV show or an episode, but a product. Specifically, the Steven Universe Complete First Season DVD set. I picked this up a while ago and finally had the opportunity to actually sit down and watch through not just a few episodes, but the special features as well. And even though I am 100% sure that every single one of you who is considering picking this up already has, I felt like I still needed to talk about it. Again, here is the box that the DVD set comes in, and as you can see, the art's a little odd. One of the biggest complaints I've seen about this set is that the box art is kind of ugly. Steven's eyes look kind of dead and combine that with his weird smile and he comes off as kind of creepy, which is not fitting the character. And yeah, I'll admit, it's pretty bad, but I don't think it's as bad as some people have been saying. There is a little bit of cleverness to it. If you take the box and you slide it open, you can see that it emulates Steven pulling up his shirt and showing off his gemstone, even if the gemstone is incredibly oversized in scale with the rest of his body here. Looking at the back of the box, you can see that the same is true. It's the back of Steven's head and the back of his shirt. And of course, the back of the box lists all the special features and gives a brief summary of what the show is and what this set is. It's pretty standard. It's what I expect a set of only two or three DVDs to come in nowadays. It's just the box art that kind of puts me off. So if you're someone who plans to display this set in some fashion, the box art may actually be a deal breaker for you. If you open it up, you can see there is an insert with Steven's gem, and then each of the DVDs looks like the gemstone of one of the other characters. There are three DVDs in general. The first two are just episodes. The final one has a few episodes as well as the special features. And the episodes are fine. They look fine. They don't have the Cartoon Network stamp down in the corner, which is nice but they're the kind of quality you would expect they're the kind of quality that the show is already known for i didn't notice any polishing up any remastering any fixing of animation errors as sparse as those are it really is just the first season over again honestly the episodes alone don't sell the set for me it's the special features which came with the set that i think really cause it to stand out it comes with animatics song demos footage from a listening party but most importantly it has a behind the music featurette this is the one that i found the most interesting the most captivating it's the one that stood out to me the most overall it's almost just entirely rebecca sugar talking about the inspiration behind the show where the idea came from and how important to her the music in the show actually is that she always planned for it to be a musical show she talks a little bit about her policy of if there's going to be a song with lyrics in the show it absolutely has to be necessary in some way which i think is a really nice touch but i think what really grabbed me about that featurette was that you could feel how important this is to her, how much passion she puts into the project. You really do get the sense that Steven Universe is a project that she genuinely cares about. And I think that means something. Overall, she comes off as very charming, very relatable, and I was just kind of captivated by this featurette the entire time through. Like, I knew the bare bones of most of what was talked about in it, but it was still nice to hear it put into words. And there was a really nice tidbit in there where our sugar talks about when she was writing the second part of Love Like You for the full version of it, and how she had kind of an epiphany about how the show had been handling emotions up to that point, that from the way she was talking about it, it sounds like it kind of changed the way that she looked at the show entirely, which I think is pretty neat. It was a very cool moment, and I think this featurette alone kind of sold the set for me, kind of convinced me that the set is worth the price. I bought it off of Amazon where it's listed for only $20, which I think is more than fair for 52 episodes of the show, plus great special features, including an excellent featurette. So honestly, if you're someone who hasn't picked this up yet, if you've been on the fence about it, or you just didn't know about it or didn't care about it, and the box art isn't a deal breaker for you, I would definitely look into picking this up. I think it's more than worth the money. But really, that's all I have to say about that, and because this is a new kind of review, I don't really know how to end it. If you guys have any critiques or criticisms regarding this format of review, let me know. If you'd like to see more reviews like this, of course, let me know that as well. I wouldn't even mind a few suggestions. That said, though, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.